I am Anil Kumar. Welcome to my YouTube channel and the website globalmapinstitute.com. Let me thank all the viewers and subscribers for watching my videos and posting excellent questions. Here is another brilliant question from one of our subscribers who really wants to know what is the formula for the product of odd numbers, right? So what are we going to discuss here is basically a formula for the product of odd numbers. It's a very interesting formula and it needs some concepts. Uh, so for the benefit of most of my viewers, I'm going to discuss the concepts also along with the formula. So product of odd numbers as shown here, that means one times, three times, five times, seven times, so on, 2n minus one will be the last nth odd number, right? And the formula is 2n factorial divided by n factorial times 2 to the power of n. Now, that is kind of complicated. So anyway, that is the formula, right? Let's first uh, try to think about uh, the notation itself. When I'm saying product of odd numbers, we will take n odd numbers, right? n odd numbers. Okay. Now, see, look at 2n minus 1. So when you say 2n minus 1, if n equals to, let us say, 1, in that case, what is the value of 2n minus 1? Right? Think like this. So, what I'm going to do here is kind of make a table for you. Put some values of n and put some value of 2n minus 1. And we are going to calculate what these values are so that you understand how do we write these numbers. Right? So, if n is 1, then 2 times 1 is 2, and then you get the number 1 itself. Now, if n is 2, then 4 minus 1 is 3. And if n is 3, 6 minus 1 is 5. And if n is 4, 8 minus 1 is 7, so on. Do you get the idea? So the fourth number is 7. Do you get the idea? Right? Which is 2 times 4 minus 1. And therefore, the nth number will be 2n minus 1. So that is how we get this series from 1 times 3 times 5 up to 2n minus 1 as product of n odd numbers. Is that clear to you? Right. Now, this product of n odd numbers is basically 2n factorial by n factorial by 2 to the power of n. Well, what are all these terms? Well, you all understand what is 2 to the power of n, right? But this factorial notation may be new for some of you. Let's try to understand the factorial notation also. So factorial is actually a continued product of first n natural numbers, right? That is what is called n factorial. And it is denoted by n factorial, like this exclamation sign, right? That is how we write in factorial notation. So, for example, if you want to write what is 7 factorial, it is 1 times 2 times 3 times 4 times 5 times 6 times 7. Okay, that is how you write factorial. Or you would also write this as 7 times 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. Either way, both are in short way, right? So in the short form, is written as 7 factorial. So it is a convenient way of writing factorial notation. Perfect. Now I hope it is absolutely clear. Similarly, then n factorial will be what? Well, it could be written as 1 times 2 times 3 times 4 times up to n or the reverse way n times n minus 1, n minus 2, n minus 3 till 1, right? 3 to 1. So either way you could write n factorial. So if n factorial is 1 to n, the product of all the natural numbers up to n, then what is 2n factorial? Well, in 2n factorial, we should be having 2n terms multiplied, right? That means we'll go from 1 and end at 2n. You see that? 1 less than 2n, 2 less than 2n will be the last three terms. Perfect. 
So now I think you understand what is 2n factorial. Perfect. So that brings to us as a level ground to begin with the proof that this formula is product of odd numbers 2n factorial over n factorial times 2 to the power of n. Correct. Now let's look into the proof. Now here is the proof for it. So that is the formula which we are going to prove. That is 1 times 3 times 5 times so on till 2n minus 1 is indeed 2n factorial divided by the two terms which are n factorial and 2 to the power of n. Well, to begin with, let's once again see what is n factorial. n factorial is 1 times 2 times 3 till n, the product of first n terms. 2n factorial should be what? Product of first 2n terms, right? So we'll begin with 1 and go up to 2n, right? Now, what are we going to do here is, we are going to set out the odd and the even numbers. So what I've done here is, I've highlighted, let me just uh, highlight the odd terms, and then we'll, for example, you know, these are the odd terms, right? So I have taken them as one group, and 2n minus 1 will be the last odd term. And let's take the other terms which are left. And these are the even terms, 2, 4, 6, 8, and these terms. So I have taken that as the other group. Now multiplication is committed, right? So order doesn't really matter. And therefore, we can group them into two groups. So we have a group which is product of odd and the group which is product of even numbers, right? So group them as odd and even, right? So even products, I can say, correct? Okay, now look at the even group. In even group, 2 is common, right? 2 is common factor. So in all the even numbers, 2, 4, 6, 8, and so on, 2 is a common factor. You can factor out 2 from each. So 2 from here, 2 from there. From each, you can factor out 2. So what you get here is 2 to the power of n factored, correct? So when you factor out 2 from each, what you get here is product of n natural numbers, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, up to n, right? 2n divided by 2 is n. So that is how you get this product of n natural numbers, which could be written in short as n factorial and 2 to the power of n is by itself. So what we know now is 2n factorial is product of odd numbers into 2 to the power of n times n factorial. Rearrange, correct? So at this stage, we rearrange to get what is the formula for the product of odd numbers. So that is the product of odd numbers. Do you see that? So easily, we could actually get the product of odd numbers, but in the factorial notation. So for some of you now, it must be very clear, how do we get this formula? Correct? It's very easy to calculate values. If I want to find what is the product of, let us say, first seven odd numbers, right? First seven odd numbers, just put n as seven in this formula and calculate and check with your calculator right? So you could do that. But I hope with this you understand how do we derive the formula for the product of odd numbers. Very interesting. Feel free to write your comment, share your views, and if you really want to learn from me, you can always send an email on the address given here. I'll be happy to answer your questions as usual. Thanks for your time and all the best.